All right, Christmas time, and my doorbell seems to have rung on the cave wall. Sounds like someone's here. Greetings, Gull Express at your service, here to deliver an express parcel. Sign here, please. All right, I just need to scribble, scribble here, and uh, thanks. You're welcome, young lady. I kind of want to date that gull. What could this be? I've not bought anything on the net for a while. How do you have working internet in that cave? Then again, I think like, like Bin Laden and all the terrorists had working internet in their caves. Huh? It's from Tori. Getting a package from Tori at this time of year. That means, whoa, is this a Christmas present? You can sense the disposable income of adults em uh, em emanating from the classy department storage wrapping paper. What is it? What is it? What's inside the box? Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt, is that you? Did he wrap you in a box and send you to me? It's seaweed. That's pretty unexpected, but it seems like really expensive fancy seaweed the type i would just want to wrap around my neck and show off to all the little birdies in the school is it weird to be excited about receiving seaweed for a present nah Ah oh, heck i'm gonna just go with it yay seaweed looking closely i can see that on top of the bouquet of seaweed is a piece of paper it looks like a note from tori December has come, and I assume a classy young lady like yourself has been very busy lately. Oh, he's too kind to me. Look at him just giving me all kinds of gifts. I'm the happiest young lady going to a pigeon school in the world. As a token of my gratitude, I humbly offer you this trifling gift and sincere hope that you accept it. In addition to wishing you a new year filled with good fortune, I hope for our continued friendship. Uh, judging by the fact that we kind of, you know, made whoopee on top of a big pile of trash, you know, I think we have a little bit more than just a friendship there, buddy. Finally got to bang a bird in this game. It's great. Tori Spelling. Wow, a proper old school letter. And that's the first time I've ever seen the world, the word trifling. I presume it means delicious. Actually, it means, like, pitiful, small. I think he's actually being humble about the gift he's giving me, which is very unusual for his character. That must mean he's in love. I guess it's not a Christmas present, but an early New Year's present. I don't think people give presents on New Year's. Thank you, Tori. From tomorrow, I shall live the healthy, good seaweed life. That's the spirit. And light, let me go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines. Yeah, this is... Okay, so we'll, we'll go to the Legumentine shop. Alright. Okay, yeah, I just had to quickly go look up and make sure I got the right bean for this bird. Because I really didn't want to choose the wrong one and have to do this all over again. Um... Yeah, apparently when I was looking that up, uh, it wasn't, I was wrong, it wasn't Angel's story that was added for the PS4 version, it was Tori. So this is entirely new for this version of the game, so it's kind of cool. Uh, I still have to say, I, I don't feel it's treading on original territory, because it seemed a lot like, like Angel? Angel's storyline? Because he had like a thing against the Doctor, but... Judging by the fact that we made Whoopi on a big pile of trash, I think, uh, I think I'm starting to like this bird a little bit better. Uh, turns out any bean, it doesn't really matter what, uh, what I choose, he'll like, so... Um... I'll just go for the racing blend again, which is what I gave the doctor. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Okay, let's give it to that special somebody. Gaia, I'm in. The, I'm a little late to meet Tori. Maybe I'm lucky, and he's fashionably late. He's always fashionable. He's my man. 
Ah, uh, he's already here. He's easy to spot, standing out like a flamboyant flame in a crowd of mundane doves. Tori! You finally came. Well, not quite yet. It's pretty gutsy to invite someone out and then be late for them. I'm so sorry. I got a little worked up cleaning the classroom. Wanna help me unwind a little bit? Well, how, how charmingly like you that is. I'll forgive you this once, but never again, bitch. Uh, I think I'm grateful. So, uh, what did you need for me for? The golden pheasant looks extremely restless. Oh, we're not getting any rest tonight, good sir. Oh, right. Here's legumentines. So I want... Uh, today's legumentines, so I wanted to give you some beans. Uh, legumentines present? Don't tell me he's married and he's got kids. Because that'd be rough. He's got little little chicks. That would, that would just... Ugh. I'd be crushed. Tori chews over the words as if reciting them and flutters his decorative feathers. This reaction could could it be? Tori, is this the first time you ever received beans on Legumentines? See, I had the opposite reaction. I thought he receives too many beans on Legumentines. Uh, uh, of course not. How could you? I mean, I'm a star. However... If it will make you happy, I will especially accept these. Great. <laughs> to think the day would come when I received Legumentine's present in this way. Tori is processing this happiness he's experiencing. Watching him become this happy, that's what giving presents is all about. Just how grateful are you, Tori? Da 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 da. I have no idea what song that even is. Unless it's da 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 da. In which case, I would be saying ellipses right now. <laughs> I asked you to rearrange the shelves. I don't recall asking you to sing. Ah, sorry. It was totally unconscious. Huh. Something fell out. This is a business card, no? A, a business card? I recall a piece of paper, doctor. Uh, the doctor picked up. That's... He just got... Oh, he just got Tori's information. Oh, wait a second, that's... Tori's spelling, eh? I've seen that girl before. Beverly Hills 90210. I carelessly left that in my pocket, and it carelessly fell out. What should I do? It's not like Tori has been doing any stalking activities recently, and I haven't spoken to the doctor about Tori yet. It's going to be pretty bad if he finds the business card of his old ultimate rival of destiny in his own office. Well, it, it comes to my attention that he wasn't a rival of Tor. Like, he was the rival of Tori's. Tori wasn't his rival. I don't think he would give a crap. Well, I, ha I have no idea who that is. Oh, is that so? Yes, I can't say. I recall that name. Um, but uh, I assumed it was yours, seeing as it was on the floor. Why Why am I trying to let him keep the card? You, you've really never heard of him. It's not mine. It probably drifted in from somewhere like the staff room. The doctor doesn't look like he's lying. Yeah, that's, that was my thought. He probably doesn't even recognize him. He probably has no clue who he is. So either Tori's got the wrong bird, or... Tori merely has an unreciprocated rivalry with the doctor. Exactly what I said. And the doctor hasn't ever paid him any thought. 
to the point where he might as well have completely forgotten his very existence. As his girlfriend, it would probably be a practical thing to say, maybe we not we, we don't bring this up to Tori at all. Maybe we let him think that the doctor feels the exact same way toward him. Because this could crush him. He's he's already happy. I already made him happy. I gave him the beans. We're probably gonna hook up tonight. It's it's all good. He doesn't have to know. It's almost the end of the year. I'll have to leave this classroom, start studying for tests, look for work, and go to war. Yeah, that's about right. Huh? Have I got new mail? Um, oh, it's an invitation from Tori. Looks like he wants to meet me at the cafe. Time for another girly chat? I don't have any plans after school, so I'll go. Oh, I was gonna go anyway. I have something of the utmost importance to speak with you about. A sudden heavy atmosphere envelops the one man Sama, and I... What's the matter, Tori? Is it... No. Not piles. Piles of trash? Brings up a... Uh, arousal? It's... What? No, it's not piles. It can't be. Surely not. You're a victim of a pyramid scheme. Madoff's in jail. Actually, actually, didn't he die? I, I don't remember. It's not a... Look, will you just be quiet and listen to me for a second? He's... Oh, God. Is this... He's going to tell me he's actually got a family or something. It's going to be really weird. And he's going to want makeup sex. But it sounds so serious. What is it? You see, I, I think I'm heading toward the final decisive battle between myself and Irosoma. Exclamation? My newest and most spectacular work, the spelling masterpiece number 706, ultra miniature optical weapon, blue flash spark, is finally complete. I wish I had that in the Pokemon battle. I really do. That probably would have that probably would have eviscerated that demon in one shot. Or just kind of squirted water at him, maybe. I don't know. Oh, and I don't even think of and don't even think of trying to break it. This one is as resilient as it is devastating. I promise I won't break it. I I don't think it'd be nice to of me to destroy something you put your heart and soul into. Well, I kind of did that before, and it ended rather um sexy. But Tori, can't you stop all of this? Let the rivalry go. Be the bigger bird. What? What are you saying? My credo is to live my life artistically and beautifully. You know what? I, I, now I'm thinking about it. We were saying he's the bigger bird. I don't know what he actually look, looks like. They never gave him a, a little human anime card. He might actually literally be a bigger bird. Like He might be like a fat guy. In a in a bird suit, like an like an Edgar suit. Uh, my way of life was ruined by one singular Chuckar partridge. I think it's Chuckar Chuckar partridge that Itosoma sullied my name and trampled me gruesomely underfoot. But Tori, the doctor has absolutely no idea who you even are. Eh, of course, that's not going to go over well. I mean, it's admirable trying to save someone, but uh, it might have cost you this relationship. What did you say? He doesn't remember me. He said he doesn't recall anyone named Tori Spelling. I think a lot of people in this time, you know, age of time don't, don't remember Tori Spelling at all. Uh, <laughs> this YouTube era. That fool, even though we were such fierce rivals, how could he be... I know, this sounds harsh, but I wonder if, to the doctor, you were just, oh, this, uh, I don't even want to say this next word, inconsequential. That's That probably hit him harder than anything the doctor could retaliate with. 
Not even a wor not even worth thinking about. Yep, I could feel the knife. I could feel the knife in not even in my side, in his side. I could actually feel it. It it hurts. Pull it out. Pull it out. It's like uh like I tell all the male birds, pull it out. Uh even though the doctor can recall scientific facts with perfect clarity, he totally and completely forgets anything he's not interested in. That probably includes you. Oof. Oof. Uh, can I forgive such a... such a blasphemous deed? No! I won't forgive it. It's even worse. This just proves it. I cannot let that chuckular partridge carry on living. I'll defeat Isosoma, even if I die trying. Tori. It's no use trying to stop me. As long as my monstrous rival still stands, life has no meaning. Well, that hurts me now. I thought we meant something to each other. <laughs> Tori, just listen to me. Just listen to me, man. You're you're get, you're going nuts. You're going you're going a little nuts. You just going. You want to go nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Tori, you're you're beautiful as you are. Huh? Your golden crown, like you're a one man samba party. That's weird. They keep saying that. Your decorative. Uh, you know, it's no weird. In my character saying that than me keep calling him Tori Spelling. Your decorative feathers, your dazzling colorful wings, all of it is beautiful, and your true nature is earnest. Surely, uh, isn't your beauty being dulled by your inability to detach yourself from this person and let go of the past? Are you trying to win me over? I thought I already did. I'm not going to be fooled by that. Tori, even today you're a prestigious researcher with a prominent standing, right? Naturally. It's because I'm overflowing with talent. Humbleness and two. Yeah, right. And you're appreciated by everyone, right? Of course. It's because I have piles of tangible achievements, but not those kind of piles. Right. So then... He's the one not worth thinking about. He's one little chuckular partridge. Chucker partridge. I keep saying chuckular. Well, I mean, that's a different story. Do you like thinking about the doctor? Of course not. It puts me in the foulest mood. Foulest. <laughs> well, then. But when I kill the doctor. It'll put me in the most spectacular mood. That's what all the serial killers tend to think, and then it just doesn't stop there. That's why they end up being serial killers. Ah, uh, the pheasant is killing me. That's for sure. Well, then, it's not stupid to spend every day in the foulest mood, wagering on a day that you might not even come. Nothing good comes from revenge. That's the arrogance of someone not involved in this. The only one who gets up, gets to place value on the state of my life is myself. I thought I was part of your life. It's like Iron Man. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Damn, that feels just uh, that feels like a just argument. I thought Tori was just a simple pheasant, but he's surprisingly difficult to persuade. Well, he kind of was in the beginning until you know. I offered him my bod. But yes, if you're saying that you want to keep on seeing me, beautiful as I am, at any cost, then I'll concede. Especially. Exclamation? You'll give up your revenge on the doctor for me? No! I will never give up! Gah. But I'll change my strategy. Like you said, like you say, if I actively engage with that partridge, it it will cause my beauty to dull. I won't rush into it. I'll wait for the opportune moment. 
Is he saying he'll put it on hold for me? I'll never lose my hatred towards Itosama, but be that as it may, personally, I want to start cherishing my relationship with you. Oh, sweet. And thus, Tori, the self-styled long-term enemy of the doctor, laid down his arms, uh, wings, for now. At least. Tori, the doctor, I don't want any harm to come to either of them. Well, although I do find the doctor quite fascinating, as he finds me. After the fact that he cut my head open, took my brain out, put it in a jar, and then smashed it on the ground, kind of not feeling the warm feelings toward him quite so much anymore. Though, if it really were to come to a decisive battle, I feel pretty certain that it's Tori who'd become the cold slab of meat. That's, that's probably, that's probably accurate. Now, my new life together with Tori begins. And hopefully he's not married. Achoo! Strange. I've shown symptom, symptoms of a cold. Superstitious fools say you sneeze when someone's talking about you. But I don't understand birds who take such unscientific nonsense as truth. <laughs> That's cute. I like that I finally got to bang a bird. That is, that is pretty cool. Now on to the other birds. <laughs> Did you get a title card? Oh, yeah. There we go. Final decisive battle averted. He's got a nice tail, nice plumage. All right. On to my next conquest. I think uh, I'll be pursuing Ouya next, just to kind of round out the whole infirmary storyline. Um, see you then.